Hey, how's it going everybody? So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at my brother's 1999 Toyota Land Cruiser 100 series build. So first, let's talk about this front bumper. This is a custom made front bumper by Top Shelf Fabrication. We gave Chris from Top Shelf Fabrication some general ideas of what we were looking for and from there he was able to draw up his design. This is the bumper in its raw form without any paint so that way you guys can see the welds and the kind of work that he does. We were looking for a tube style bumper that would bolt right in and that's exactly what Chris gave us. So if anybody in the Southern California area needs any custom fabrication done, hit up Top Shelf Fabrication. You'll see it right here up on the screen and I'll also post it in the description down below. So here's the bumper now fully painted and we used Steelit coatings. This is the same paint that we used on the roof rack on our GX and I just love the finish of this paint. Once we had the bumper all finished up we went to Lamb's Garage and installed a snorkel. And after that it was time to work on the rear bumper. We were able to source a steel bumper with dual swing outs from a buddy who's local to me. We were thinking it was going to be an easy installation, but it didn't quite work out that way. Now I'm sure this would have been an easy job for anyone that had the right tools and the right equipment, but uh, we kind of just winged it as we went. I mean, we were able to figure it out and it works. but we did make one pretty big mistake. No. This just in. Oh, uh, well, um, as you can see, the spare tire is still on the bottom of the car. So now we gotta take it out um, and take out the bumper and then put the bumper back on. But um, everything so far so good. Uh, awning did not fit. Um, <laughs> everything else, okay. Easy right. project. We'll check back with you in a minute. Oh, thank, you. thank you, Joshua. So after all of that, we were able to finish the build, minus the awning. We were thinking we can mount the awning by drilling into the crossbars of the 100, but that didn't really work, so we gotta think of something else. So for off-road lights, we went with the Hella Value Fit 500s. These are seven inch LED. We went with Hella because the brand has been around for a long time, and we actually grew up mounting Hella lights to all our old builds. For the winch, we went with the Rough Country 9500 pound Pro Series with synthetic line. We went with Rough Country because of all the good reviews that the Jeep guys are giving it, so we wanted to give it a try. And it's also very affordable. For tires, we went with the BF Goodrich KO2s in a 285 75 16. And the wheels are the first generation F5 from Stealth Custom Series. My brother also had the front seats reupholstered. He didn't go with anything special or anything, but they just look so clean that I had to showcase them here. For sliders, we went with the White Knuckle Off-Road 15 Degree. These are very robust and well-made. And here's another look at the rear bumper that we just installed. And for anyone who is interested as to baselining of this truck, new head gaskets, new exhaust manifold gaskets, new alternator, new water pump, new belts, um, pretty much everything inside the engine bay was gone over. Also, this is a 99 Land Cruiser, so it came factory equipped with a center and rear diff lock. And lastly, for suspension, we went with the Ironman 4x4 Stage 2 Nitro Gas Charged 2-inch lift kit. So the kit comes with the springs, torsion bars, and the differential drop kit. And the only thing that really needs to be done now is mount the awning. So that's it for the video. I hope you guys appreciate the build. And if you have any questions, just leave it down in the comments. And again, if you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.